Hello, hello, hello. This is Etho. Thank you for joining me again, everybody. I uh, went spelunking again. Got tons of stuff. Um, I think I got about eight stacks of redstone, which is which was a major score. I also got a little bit of iron, some gold. I think I got. Yeah, 38 gold, and these are all filled with iron that I have had sitting around for a long time. I finally smelted it, and I found three dungeons, I believe, and got two stacks of mossy cobblestone, and about a stack of lupus, and yeah, good times, good times. So... I did have a specific thing I wanted to work on this episode, but I've kind of got sidetracked and started working on the barn. Hey, hey. And I got rid of the roof here. And so, before I get too far ahead of myself, shut up guys, uh, I thought I would start recording what I'm doing here so that I wouldn't have to show it to you after you can actually be with me as I'm changing it. Uh, what I did, this used to be solid wood blocks and I've replaced these with half slabs. Oh yeah, I'm on peaceful. I play on peaceful sometimes, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um... And yeah, they fall down three and a half blocks. They'll walk off on their own at that. That's the maximum distance they will fall. And they'll actually take damage from that. Uh, what I was just working on is setting up the trap door thing here. To kill How did he walk over that? To kill the wolves. And I'll have lava underneath or fire it's a real pain trying to wire these four doors though because I have four sets of double doors right next to it but somehow managed to do it by having sneaking in this redstone torch here opens and closes all four of them the only downside is I have to have uh, exposed wires above here. But, oh well. So I gotta run a wire to the back there and attach to that block there. It's so loud here. And I'll hook up the kill switch to here, I guess. Shouldn't be too hard. You know, a lot of people, uh, comment about the way I say lava. Am I saying it wrong or or what? Because I sometimes hear people say lava, like L-A-W-V-A. -A. Is that the right way of saying it? Some people say larva, kind of, British people. And yeah, I'm just kind of curious about that. I always thought I said it proper, but maybe I don't. Actually, after looking at this again, since my uh, lever is about over there, I'd rather have the wiring closer to this side instead of on the back side. So I think I can just place a redstone torch here. Yeah. And it doesn't interfere with these doors, I don't think. So let's mark that spot. I'll have to run... Hmm, although I will have to put wiring underwater then. That might be a little strange. Oops. Right, okay, so... That's done. Uh, the other thing, if I'm putting lava... Lava, larva, whatever... Underneath these doors, I can't have any wood around here, so I'm going to have to replace 
that wood with sandstone or something. These cows are annoying me like crazy, you have no idea. Okay, so the lever is <coughs> excuse me, over there. Two blocks in. Should be under here then. I think that's it. Um, so I need to run... sure wish this wiring wasn't here. This is going to make this a lot harder. Run a redstone there. Run back up. Turn it on. Make sure that's the right spot. on. Good. Okay. Uh, I probably have to get rid of this. Move this over one. And then start going down. Yeah. Don't you guys just love redstone wiring? Something like that. Look at all these animals. This is so annoying. Why did I build this thing? I built an annoying machine. Okay. Redstone wire comes down, keeps going. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna have to run it one block over. I like to try to always keep my wiring as compact as I can, but you know, sometimes it's just easier to make it a little bit bigger. And I'll need a repeater somewhere in here, right there. I guess we'll have to make this go out. Uh, the other way didn't work. It was interfering with the double doors after all. So I had to go back to going around the back. So there's a redstone torch on the other side of this block. And that should do it. So I just need a repeater in here. And then we'll try it out. Yeah, there's actually a lot of wiring under here. In our repeater, you heard them shut there or open. So I think it's all ready. Oh, these guys are just so annoying. Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta replace the wood here yet. Okay, they're closed. They're open. Doors are still open. Okay, that works. Let's see if they interfere. Uh, right now they're closed. And they're open and the double doors are still closed. So that's exactly what we want. Uh, may as well put a light there. A little indicator light. There. So now we can choose to kill them here if we want. So, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I need to put the lava in, right? Um, probably just have blocks up to here. And I think I can... I think I might be able to fill this in, actually. Yeah, I think I can. So I can put blocks here, here. All the way around. And then blocks up. And I don't think that will interfere in any way. 
and we can just fill that in with lava. I could use fire and not have to worry about it spreading uh, to the wood here, but I hate that sound fire makes with a passion. It's okay once in a while, but when it's going all the time, it's so annoying. And hopefully I never have to rewire any of this, because that would suck. Okay, so, good. It's going to change the wood, and it should be good to go. Ah, such a pretty view. This is like my lunar biome. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to refer to that as. Seems I didn't have any sandstone left, so... You know what that means. Ouch. Gotta get some more. Game's really lagging from all these items. And that should keep me set for a while, I'd say. Again. I don't know where all my sandstone's going. I like never use this stuff. So, you got plenty of sandstone again? And my sand supply is really good at the moment, although my gunpowder supply is also really good at the moment, so I'll probably make a bunch of TNT soon again. And let's finish this thing up. Brown sheep! Brown sheep! Okay, gotta get rid of this. Um, so we gotta replace this wood with sandstone. And we even have trap doors to stand on as we do it, which is pretty cool. Oh, dang it! I forgot. Good, good. Sandstone. I love this block. Looks so good. And our trap doors. Let's see, how did I do that before? That, 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 and that. We're wiring back. Good. Okay. Is there any more wood nearby? I think the stuff here will be safe. I really don't want this to burn down everything. Actually, I don't want these guys pushing me either, so I better close the doors. And two more. I gotta make sure I don't come in here when the doors are open though. Or I'm gonna be very upset with myself. Sweet, okay. And that'll even give us some light at night, which is good. Alright, so I brought some signs with me. I'm going to mark these. This is the wolf lock. And this will be the wolf killer, I guess. And yeah. 
Now wolves should be handled however we want them to be. Got a whole bunch of wolves entering the barn right now, so we're gonna try it out. Uh, one thing I think I may need to add on to this is some type of animal lock on the front door because they tend to get out when I enter or, or leave the barn. So, may have to figure something out with that. Shouldn't be too hard. Got wolves. Mm. I forgot they're going to be trying to get the sheep, so they might not want to go to the center. One, one, one. Alright. Um, are there any dog lovers watching right now? You might want to turn away for a second. Any cow lovers or sheep lovers? No? Okay, good. I wonder if they will go on their own if the sheep... Well, the sheep would have to move around. No, what was that? No! No! <laughs> uh, this game's too much fun. Hmm. Yeah, they sure like to go after the sheep. If it's open, they will drop down into it, I'm pretty sure. It's just if they're in there already and you open it, you might it might take a little longer for them to, uh, you know. <laughs> so, the last thing I need to do is get rid of... I think I'm going to get rid of this ring, since it's not needed anymore. That goes all the way around, and I need to put some kind of ceiling on here. Um, and then of course we need the squid aquarium here. I have a general idea how I'm going to do it, but not exactly yet. And there's huge ocean out in front of here, so I'm thinking something with boats might be on the barn as well. Some kind of boat dispenser maybe, so I can go into the ocean. Or if I start like an underwater project, I might have a tube that goes underwater here. Not fully sure what I'm going to do yet. Anyway. I think I got all the wiring done now too, so I can probably go ahead and put a skirting around the middle there so you can't see all that wiring. And I'll probably also maybe trim it all around like this just to give it a little bit more uh, shape and then possibly put those legs on it or something mm, that looks a little strange looks even more strange I'll figure something out uh, you guys may have seen the Eats Road already the latest edition I cleaned up this spot now, so it was pretty tall in here, so I decided to just grow trees and have them kind of go over. It was not easy to do, that's for sure. It took a long time. But it's kind of unique. I got a ladder on every one of the trees. Used tons and tons and tons of bone meal trying to grow them in such a low area and so close together. And one other thing, I no longer have uh, glass over top my thing there. Uh, where is my crafting bench? Who 
who stole my crafting bench? So, uh, the easy loader is over here. You just pop a boat down in the middle here. This is covered so I don't fall down it anymore. I've done that enough times. This ladder here holds them down. Just like that. And when they're like this, it's safe to walk over top them. You don't have to worry about them being nudged out of place or anything. It's just like walking on ground. So, that's kind of cool. So, let's go for a ride, hey? sound up. There we go. And over here I hooked up a dispenser as well. You guys may have seen this already if you download the, if you downloaded my world. I built this j right after the last episode, and it's pretty much the exact same thing. Okay, so this easy loader here is different than my uh, regular style. It's a different water pattern. I've showed you this before. This is uh, what I did when I, when the other easy loader broke, I made this. Uh, so the water source goes here. There's uh, one, two, three pressure plates here. And you use this style if uh, if there's if the boat's sandwiched down like this. Otherwise, you use the regular style. And that's how that works. Okay, so it's getting a little bit more polished up in here. I have lots to polish over here. I may eventually just rip out this whole minecart thing and uh, do something a lot simpler and practical because uh, I built that when we had the old booster glitch and now we have easier ways of getting around. Uh, oh, who left the door open? No, 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 you guys are not allowed. You're not allowed in there. Etho only, okay? I'll tell you what it is when it's done. And over here, uh, I got tired of water washing away my wire, so I made a kind of waterproof. You got like a trap door here. Go down, and you're in the wire room. Go back up hit the button, jump, you're done. And yeah, that's it for the Eats Road for now. And I think that's the end of the episode. Uh, covered a few things, so, and it's getting long. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.